Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John and today we're going to take a look at what I just picked up from Target. It's the McFarlane Netflix Witcher. All right, let's get at it. I actually didn't even know Netflix was putting out uh, figures with McFarlane for The Witcher. So it was a pretty good surprise to find these on the shelves in uh, Target. So I'm sure this won't be a long video. We're just gonna take a peek at this. There's not a lot of stuff here. But here we have Geralt of Rivia, Mr. Henry Cavill himself. All right, we're gonna take this into flash mode because it takes me forever to get these things open. They give us a nice little stand. It is one of those peg stands that go right into the bottom of the foot. All right, and then they gave us his black cloak, which is, uh, you know, kind of crappy material, but at this scale, it's kind of hard to find material that falls right, looks heavy, even though I do think they probably could have put like five more minutes into thinking that cloak out. And then we have his awesome sword, which they did really well. It's got sculpting and everything all the way down the blade. So we'll get a close look at that with the macro lens. So I am really glad that they uh, they made this figure because it's really awesome. Um, however, I hate this stupid little hair piece over here. I'm going to see maybe I can heat it up at some point and put it down or move it or something. It's so annoying. The sculpting through everything is great. You know, the materials, all that, that rubbery plastic that they use. Um, we've got the sword holder on the back, the paint and uh, sculpting on the hair is great. A lot of detail there. Now the box says it has 22 moving parts, which is awesome, so you can probably get this guy into really awesome poses. Um, we've got everything from the head that barely moves, because it doesn't even look like it has a neck. Swivels on the legs, and looks like we've got a double joint here on the knee, which is amazing. So that's really cool, and even on the foot, we have a joint on the foot here too, so you can get him into really, really great poses. Love that they include a stand, that's always a convenient thing. You peg it right into the bottom of the foot here, and at least he can stand up without falling on his face, so that's always great. Now I think they did a very good job on the sword here. Lots of good little detail. The sculpting from top to bottom is very nice on it. We've got the letters that you can see coming up right down the middle of the sword. You know, when you consider how small these things are, it's amazing how much detail and paint they can actually get into these sculpts these days. But don't get me wrong, I am super happy that they put out a Witcher figure from Netflix. Um, however, I don't know who this person's supposed to be, because that's not Henry Cavill. And this stupid piece of hair that they have poking out is ridiculous. I'm really going to have to try to heat it up and bend it somewhere else, because that looks awful. Overall, the paintwork is very nice. We've got a nice little 5 o'clock shadow going on there, so we got a nice wash of different colors around the eyes and around the mouth and the chin and everything. The hair is sculpted very nicely, and they put uh, some nice shadows and highlights through the hair. Now, as always, McFarlane is great at sculpting all of the outfits. Um, everything from the Jason figures to the Spawn stuff, their stuff looks solid. There's always a lot of texture and detail in everything that they do. Yeah, so let's take a super close look up at the head sculpt. Uh, it's done very well. It looks like there's two pieces. It looks like the hair is one piece over there that's just kind of maybe glued on there. But the painting is very nice. We've got a couple different washes for the 5 o'clock shadow, and then we got some Looks like more reds around the eyes to add some depth and dimension there. Unfortunately, just like the Justice League figures they put out, they did fall short of nailing Henry Cavill's likeness. But what can you really expect from something that's like six, seven inches tall? And just below we have the wolf necklace. That would have been kind of cool if it was actually a real piece rather than sculpted in there. But I guess that would have been super hard to make. So if you don't want to pose him with this sword, you can put it right on his back there. Totally great detail. Now we've got the cloak here, which I do think after some time it's just going to fall apart because it's just like a, a cut piece of material. And uh, there's no wire or anything, so it's very hard to fiddle with, and it's so tiny and kind of thick. And, you know, the material is pretty cheap, so I'm up in the air whether I want to pose him with this on the shelf or not. If I can make it kind of fall correctly and look cool, then the cloak's going to be the way I go because I just love the way cloaks look. But unfortunately, even without the cloak, he looks like he doesn't even have a neck. Everything is just so big and bulky. And then with this thing on it, he just really kind of gets lost in there a little bit. I almost feel I want to go out to a fabric store and find a really soft, soft, thin material and remake this cloak because I think it looks really good like this with him holding the sword and the cloak over his head, but this material is just kind of a pain in the ass to work with. 
and I'm sure they put no more than two or three minutes of thought into that. They probably just grabbed whatever was around the factory and said, oh, we'll make it out of this. All right, so that's a quick look at the Netflix McFarlane Witcher figure. If you're a fan of The Witcher and you come across this thing at Walmart or Target or something like that, I would suggest to pick it up. It looks really cool on the display. Um, and I do think I'm going to pick up a 1-6 scale version of this as well that is coming out pretty soon. So uh, when and if I get that, I will do a review on that as well. Thank you all again for stopping by. Smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell, and please be safe and kind out there in the world. See you all soon.